Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an emergency Future Villains podcast. <laughs> Star Wars Last Jedi trailer just fucking came out, and I've got a very special guest here that you might know from the Best in the Realm channel. You should know him. It's Neoden. He he he's a lot of, knows a lot about the stars and the wars, and <laughs> we're we're gonna watch checks to the stars and the wars. <laughs> uh, we're gonna hold on. How do I do this? No, I'm just gonna do this. Okay, I'm starting the trailer. There's a dude standing in the window. It's Kylo Ren. What sh What is that? Hold on. Go back. Actually, you know what I've ever seen something. You got some ATATs over to the far left. Which kind of gives you the scope of how massive this fucking hangar is. Uh, another ATAT over the far right. I don't know. Yeah, I'm looking at that. Let's, let's zoom in here. Zoom and enhance. Oh, wow. Is that like a a troop carrier thing for ATATs? It's like holding four on each side or three oh, on each side. Oh shit! You're right, right there on the that's, left side. That's fucking massive. That also might right, just be down. some. That also just might be storage in the ship. That's no, no, no! You're right, because on the right side, that is a ship with, with, uh, with yeah, like, yep, yeah. engines. Holy shit, that's scary. Okay, I'm hitting play. Yeah. You never actually see them get deployed on Hoth. No, and then we appear. see <laughs> the ATATs. We see them in more detail, which is so cool. They had to take a hit plate again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Some storm it's Not a bad idea for us to do a wash together when we do these things. Can we do that? Yeah. We'll ask Michael. He knows how to do that shit. Oh, well, Michael's... Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I was about to comment on the leg armor, but even more importantly, do you see, like, right in the middle of the screen at eight seconds, that there's, like, a regular AT-AT, and then a, the big motherfucker right next to it that's, like, twice as big? At eight seconds. Oh! <laughs> Funny. <laughs> it's like the little AT... It's like the big AT-ATs had a puppy, and that's the regular AT-AT. And you can't unsee that. Holy shit. Okay. It's literally twice. This cannon's coming out of its shoulders. What is that above them? Is that like a transport shuttle? Like maybe yeah, Kylo that, Yeah, that's a transport shuttle. Okay. That's basically the, the Y-Wing from the original series, only the next gen. All right, I'm going to hit These play. These things more like big-ass saber tooths or something. Something. Hit and play. And then we see... Let's go ahead and hit pause. What is this Kylo place? Kylo and a bunch of Yeah, oh, but look at this place. It's like some sort of volcanic area, or... Oh, maybe is it hell? Vader's lair? I suppose. Could be. Mustafar? Could be. Hit and play. And we see Kylo with a red background. I still think that dumbass hilt... I mean, it looks cool, but it would cut your hand off in the saber fight, so sorry. Seems it like it would just slide. And it's not going to stop a blade. I'm sorry, it's not. That is such a cool location. Inside me has always been there. Hold on, pause. Did you hear that, uh, uh, Emily something? The, the Ray, the, the actress that plays Ray? When she was doing the last scene of, of the first movie, that she was sick as a dog with the flu going up those steps? Oh, God, really? Yeah, they said that she threw up like a dozen times going up that thing, but she is a trooper. She got through it. That sucks. That does suck, but that is a testament to her her professionalism. Now, what is this here? Yeah. What oh, this is. At, at forty-one seconds. Forty-one. Going back. Okay, so this. It's like a giant tree type thing, and in the yeah. center of it, you got a light beaming down on. Now, is this some far-off shot, and that's like a plateau she's standing on? I think this is a room inside the tree. I think light so side kind of force users. Massive. What's that? What kind of tree would be that massive, though? <sighs> it's fucking Star Wars, man. <laughs> <laughs> True. You make up whatever and these, you these want. This new trilogy is introduced a lot new uh, creatures and stuff. So yeah, I, and light side force users, I think, have kind of a connection to nature. So this. True. See, and, and with all the time he spent on uh, Dagobah, it's very possible. Also true. So let's keep going. She's definitely got something important there. Maybe a holocron. See now here she's tapping into the forest and basically cracking. Yeah. I've seen right, everything around her. Before. It didn't 
Okay, this is the part that I was getting ready to talk to you about right before we started filming was, okay, Luke, as we know, trained Kylo Ren. Or partially, at any rate, before yeah. Kylo Ren to trade him. And he says here, okay, I've seen this kind of power once before. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. What are the chances that there are two Force users in the same generation that are as powerful as this? I am convinced that these that Ray and, and Kylo are related in some way. Cousins, brother, sister. Sure. I don't know. Somehow they're they're related. I guarantee it. What is this what is this building? Is this like a Jedi temple? As uh, far as we know. What time frame? Uh fifty seven seconds. Fifty seven. Yeah, I believe that's probably the, the, where he doing a flashback of where he was training the Jedi. I mean, yeah, and the Knights of Ren. Right. Which I still don't know who the freak the Knights of Ren are. Dude, supposed to be. I want to know. Just, just some random uh, trainees that decided to follow Kylo, and if so, where are they now? Are they going to show up in the new movie, I or bet. did Luke like get pissed off and wipe them out whenever he betrayed them? I mean, what happened? I doubt Luke wiped them out. I, I doubt that too. And here's the most important question. Do they all have the Farrah Fawcett feathered hairdo as Kylo? Moving on. we can't get more gay than <laughs> Moving I, on. I, I cannot be intimidated by him. I don't care how gritty the, the, the next scene they're showing. He, he clearly gets more gritty, more serious, more tortured, I guess. More emo. More emo. The helmet still looks I stupid. do love his helmet, though. I think his helmet looks stupid. I don't know He's got, like, carbon fiber on his chicken. On his chicken. On his cheek. <laughs> <laughs> chicken! Wow, what are you uh, apparently doing? Eating? I, I yes. just ate chicken. Wait, I, I'm still can't be afraid of this little emo brat. Okay, so right here, I'm at I'm at this Christmas, a minute twenty six. He kills a Leia. Twenty six. Okay, you're a little bit ahead of me. He he this kills Christmas. his mom. Right. He has to. I mean, he almost I, he almost has to, especially since. Uh, God, see me. I can't remember the actress's name. Uh, but man. She passed, and it, it is a tragedy to the yeah. Star Wars franchise. Even though, you know, all accounts say that she was kind of batshit crazy, but, you know. But. That fighter he's flying is pretty badass. Oh, did you keep going? Damn it. <laughs> no, I kind of flipped back. Oh, okay. Well, I kept going. No, I was just gonna, gonna say, you know. Okay. Spoiler alert to anyone who hasn't seen the end of Rogue One. Oh, at the end of Rogue One, have you seen it yet? Yes. Okay. Somebody so let's say at the end of Rogue One, Vader shows up, and I almost wet myself. I was like, "Holy shit, Vader's scary again! This is fucking awesome." I cannot be afraid of Kylo. No matter what he does or what they do to him, I cannot be afraid of this guy. It's a horrible casting choice and a horrible character design. And I think they know that Carrie Fisher, by the way, is Leia's name. Carrie Fisher. Um, thing? Oh, I think they it? know that, and I think something's going to happen. Or he's going to turn to the light side. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Something's going to happen. on the side of his face. It almost looks like... It's carbon skin. fiber, I'm telling you. He's going to go faster now. <laughs> oh, <geez>. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you at? I'm um, going back to this Christmas, 127. Tell me when to play. play. Okay, hit play. See the Millennium Falcon? That's amazing. We don't know who's flying it. We see Chewie? Right. We see a penguin? Right, pause it here at 133. Okay. Tell me I'm wrong, but is that not like almost exactly like the raccoon from fucking Guardians of the Galaxy? No. <laughs> that's what this thing reminds me of. It's hilarious. It's like adorable. A it's like a fucking fan is adorable. This is true. But it's like a fucking space ferret or something. Like, what the hell is this? This is awesome. I'm glad we took that break. Let's keep going. Hit play. <laughs> we see Poe. That's cool. We see Poe's X-Wing. Right, he's got like, I don't know, some sort Whoa. of booster engine now. Pause it. Pause it right... What is it, 141? Right on... 42. Ph Phasma and Finn. That is going to be epic. Right. I kind of want to see what Phasma looks like under the helmet, because if I'm hearing this right, I haven't really looked into it, but when I was watching the first movie and I heard her voice, I swear to God, it's the same chick that's been in a lot of uh, TV sci-fi shows, Stargate SG-1, and uh, 
uh, Farscape. She's in uh, she's in Game about. of Thrones. Is she? Yeah, I know that. She's somewhat important in that. Uh, let's look it up. I Captain I Phasma. Voice. Gwendolyn Christie. That is not a name I know. <laughs> See, Game of Thrones, Star Wars, Hunger Games, The Darkest Mind. Oh, that hasn't come out yet. What did you think she was from? I guess I can't just look up her character in IMDb. I gotta fucking. Or is Last Jedi? Wow, uh, what? Come on, oh, IMDb. Freaking thing, just. All right, known for all these things, Lego Star Wars. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't recognize her. The Tonight Show, sure, that's a thing she would be known for. <laughs> it's a thing that nobody's known for anymore. She's only acted in 16 things. That's not a lot. Oh, Brianna of Tarth, really? That oh, picture yeah. does not look like Brianna Tarth. Brianna of Tarth. Right, it doesn't sound like a fucking interesting title, but if you watch Game of Thrones, you're like, oh, okay, wow. Brienne that, that of Pop Tarts. <laughs> She's like this seven foot tall she thing. Like, I see. Like, the, the best thing I can describe her as is, um, um, what is it, me and names tonight? The, the fucking pink haired chick from Overwatch. Oh, Zarya? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, the female fucking Arnold yeah, Schwarzenegger. Your favorite character. <laughs> right. All but right. yeah, she's kind of like that, only not nearly as douchey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it makes sense that she's like a big warrior in Star Wars, so... She is. I, I would not want to pick a fight with her at all. all right. well, I'm going to hit play. Uh, next yeah. Finn and Phasma fighting. We see a rebel fleet getting wrecked. The way you think. Things are not going to go the way someone thinks. Finn obviously gets captured. Okay, hold up. I want to go back to Snoke. Minute 58. Okay, yeah. A couple seconds ahead. Yeah, he is like total zombie ran. That Snow is That is a human, though. That is not like a Sith. Not the race. Yeah, that's that's not the, the weird-ass race, I don't think, that, that one uh, Star Wars theory guy. I can't remember the hell his name of his well, I don't know. I've only seen a couple of his videos anyways and they're kind of off the wall he gets his information from really odd unsubstantiated uncanon sources and I don't really like him very much but I he feel was saying like that he was the same race uh -huh. as was in one of the prequels where they have like really I know what you're really tall about. and they have like gray skin and yeah yeah that doesn't look like the same race to me that looks like a really really old wrinkled zombie man from that's human or was yeah. human yeah <laughs> I feel like what you were saying before we started recording, that that is possibly a Sith Lord that, like, was in hibernation? Hibernation, or maybe he's was defeated and basically killed and has been resurrecting himself. But the theory I heard, and I can't remember where the hell I heard this from, but that he was a great Sith Lord from ancient times that, for whatever reason, was either defeated, which, you know, his head being split wide open would kind of substantiate oh, that. Oh, right. Okay. Or was somehow defeated to where he, he was put into a hibernative state and that the death of Emperor Palpatine, Vader, and the second Death Star, that vibration through the Force woke him somehow. And he's been trying to regenerate him himself ever since. And looking at this picture, I mean, granted the only time we saw him in the first movie was through a hologram, but he looks like he's been more regenerated here than in the first one. It wasn't something in the first movie saying that something has awoken. The Force? Yeah, well, that's force. what I'm saying. Like, maybe he's what's awoken. Uh, very possibly. Huh. Well, that, you know, the Force users have been pretty much extinct in the Star Wars yeah. universe since uh, Kylo wiped out all the other trainees and Luke went into hiding. Yeah, I mean, look at Knights of the Old Republic or the Old Republic, the MMO. There's so many Force users at one point. Oh yeah, there were there, and and from what I understand, though, you know those movies or games aren't canon, but it is canon that there was at one time thousands of Jedi, they right, and and thousands of Sith, and they basically 
wiped out the Sith for the most part, and, and hopefully the Bane trilogy, which is like my favorite freaking Star Wars uh, yeah. story arc of all time. Hopefully that is still somewhat canon. <laughs> that I mean we do know the Rule of Two eventually came out because Yoda mentioned it in prequels, and that's still canon. And a lot of that that stuff that's considered legends is also canon until they say it's not. So we can assume that Knights of the Old Republic happened. Because they haven't said that it hasn't. To a degree. I mean, they do still move things around. Like, for some yeah. reason, Thrawn's now in the prequel, sort of. Or in between the prequel and the original. Thrawn is awesome in Rebels. But that that's Thrawn a whole topic awesome. for another show. Right, that is. Thrawn is awesome in Rebels. I liked him in the original books. But, yeah, I like Rebels. So. By the way, Rebels comes out on my birthday. Awesome. <laughs> I, I do want to see the next series of Rebels. I'm excited. I've I've got my uh, my Disney Infinity figures of all the Rebels characters right in front of me and the ghosts. Right. The only thing I don't much care for about Rebels is that when Ezra kind of grew up, they changed his hairdo, and his hairdo doesn't look natural anymore. Agreed. It looks like he's wearing a hat helmet or something. I don't he know he on. and again, this is another topic for another episode. He right. looks like a, a a light side user, so he looks like a fucking douche. <laughs> Because a Sith would not make him cut his hair. Right. This is true. <laughs> Again, moving on. So <laughs> we will talk about that on a podcast another day. Right. Oh, fucking Jedi's. Hit and play. Right. Okay, Somebody question even, Ray. Ray is like giving birth or something. She is in serious pain. That I don't. Who is standing in the background there? I don't know. That might not even be a person. That might no. be a Look at the gray at the, at the base. So it's either standing up on a platform that's like almost perfect size, or it's just some sort of computer terminal. Something real powerful is trying to like do something right. terrible to her. More powerful than Kylo, I would imagine. At least at his yes. state that we know of him now. I don't think Kylo's all that powerful. He's just not. In my I really just. I think that's what pisses him off about when he fought Ray and Finn. Is they just beat him. It right. pissed him off. That's another thing that just aggravates the crap out of me about the first movie. Is like, dude, you were a Sith Lord. I know your training's incomplete, but you got your ass handed to you by not one, but two people consecutively who've never touched a lightsaber before. What kind of piss ant fucking Sith Lord are you? Well, I guess I know he was shot yeah. in the ribs. Most Sith Lords would be able to take the pain from that to make right. them stronger. At least until the fight was over. Then, the other, okay, I'm hurt. I need to heal myself. And that's why Wait. when people call him Darth Millennial, I don't I don't argue <laughs> too much. <laughs> I have not heard that yet, but now that I have, I'm going to use that every freaking time. He is from this day forward, Darth Millennial. <laughs> Holy because shit. Or Darth Emo. You're absolutely right, because somebody like Bane <laughs> would get shot and go, oh, that's cute. <laughs> Alright, oh, how sweet. You think you can hurt me. <laughs> like, You're oh, dead. I was going to murder you in three minutes. Now I'm going to murder you in 30 seconds. You bitch, come here. Right. <laughs> now that you shot me and gave me fuel to, to fuel my hatred, I was just going to force choke you. Now I'm going to force crush you into dust. But I also think that he might hide behind the Knights of Ren. That might be what the Knights of Ren are for. He's a wuss. He could be. This is true. He also and that, that might would be, be why typical he be, millennial behavior. So and he might become a light side user because he's a wuss. <laughs> Talking all kinds of shit about the Jedi yeah, today. Really are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's keep going because this image of Ray is terrifying. I know, right? It was so bad for. Her. I need someone. This blew my mind. To show me my place in all this. That's the last person I thought to see there. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Back up a couple seconds to his face. Notice that the carbon fiber thing's gone. Yeah, they got into a fight. But the carbon fiber thing's gone, so I don't know what's going on with his face. I think that's just... just, He's like, oh, I gotta have this, because it it looks cool. And like, oh, ah. Maybe it's a (laughs) weird-ass bandage or something? I don't know. I don't know. He might be ashamed of the scar. I don't know. I'm keeping going. This is way too much time on his hair, not off enough. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's incredible. And so Star Wars The Last Jedi, who is that talking about? Um, I remember watching a, a interview thing. 
about that, and I can't remember what they were basically saying. They, they kind of alluded to Ray could be the last Jedi. What if it's uh, Luke? Luke could be the last Jedi. Yeah. Really much. They don't really want to let you know. Are we someone. finally going to get to see the Sith be in power? And the Sith be the main focal points of the movies? Because that would be awesome. The Sith are always in power. In You're movies. right, no, I know, that's why I said the focal points of the movies. <laughs> right, yeah, the focal points of the movies. Eh, maybe, if so, I really hope that they like, really start building on the character of these Sith Lords. We don't know really anything much about Snoke other than theory. And that he's really jacked up. And Kylo is a pansy ass who yeah. I just, I swear to God, if I was a stormtrooper, I'd stick my, storm, my, my rifle up his ass and just shoot it. And you could tell in the first movie, they don't respect him. Right, yeah, that, that ginger really did not respect him at all. Or fear him for that. Matter. Yeah. Now, if you remember, there's a couple people who kind of mouthed off the Vader, and he shut them up real fucking quick. Yeah. Your lack of faith disturbs me. Now, wipe yourself up, you're drooling. <laughs> That's Bitch. what Seth should do. So, right? I'm I'm super excited about this. You gotta come back to Florida so we can watch this. <laughs> you got two months to prepare. Uh huh. Save up your money. Wait a minute. This Christmas, bitch. December fifteenth is not Christmas. <laughs> it comes out on December fifteenth. Whatever. That's fine. Thank you for joining us, guys. This was us tearing apart the trailer because I just thought that would be fun exercise for me and, and Yoden here. Uh, we're going to have a Star Wars podcast very soon in the future. We got to. Thank this you for true. joining us. Uh, you maybe can we find... can talk about Rebels next time. What's that? So maybe we can talk about Rebels next we time. We have to or... talk about Rebels next time. Or even Clone Wars. Like, maybe we I... can have a discussion about Darth Maul. Mm, yes. That'd be interesting. Thank you for joining us, guys. Let us know if you're excited about that podcast. Let us know what you want us to talk about. Uh, my name is Best in the Realm. You can find this content on FutureVillains.com. That's F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. You can find me on Twitter at Best in the Realm. You're on my YouTube channel. No, you're not. You're on the Future Villains YouTube channel. Find me on Best of the Realm and then Twitch.tv slash Best of the Realm, which you'll usually see Neoden on playing PUBG. Thanks for joining us, guys.